ASTM V5514 is the large hydrostatic puncture testing of geosynthetics. And we use this method to quantify the strain that's placed on geomembranes when they're installed under drainage aggregate layers in landfills predominantly. So these aggregates can vary quite uh, highly in type, particle size distribution, angularity and sphericity. I think quarried materials are generally preferred in Australia because of their cost and availability, but uh, they're often, they often have a high angularity, which is uh, problematic for um, the interaction with the geomembrane. So what we do is we create a fixed stone profile and put that along with all of the other proposed geosynthetic materials for the project inside the test chamber and lift it to the design load uh, for a minimum of 24 hours. After that test is completed, we remove the aluminium sheet and send it away for 3D laser scanning. Designers will often nominate a maximum strain level for the geomembrane, so this analysis is often used for pre-qualification of intended design materials for each project. We've learned a lot over the years about the comparative performance between different materials and different combinations and different test conditions. For example, the improved performance of a continuous filament geotextile over staple fibre geotextiles of similar mass and under similar conditions. So consultants use this uh, analysis often as well to understand the differences between materials that they're going to put into their designs. Installers will often need to assess their geotextile, their protection geotextile offering to this method to prove compliance with, this, with the specification. By carrying out this analysis, uh, on different geotextiles of different construction, they can cost optimise their selections and their product offerings to the, to the project.